12, 22, 21. Um, the ultimate mirror number, right? Um, <clears throat> so I decided that today would be a great day to, um, see what the twin flame journey is up to. This divine masculine, divine feminine energy. Um, <clears throat> so whatever energy you're sitting in, read it from that perspective. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Um... I want to know where you're at on your journey. What's going on? Um, how I can help. Um, kind of give you some enlightenment on this journey. Um, honestly, it's, it's the hardest one. It's the hardest journey, you know. And that's kind of how you know, like... Uh, okay, so keep in mind... You are like a spiritual Siamese twin with your, uh, twin flame, right? Um, you are stuck with them for all, forever. <laughs> Infinity and beyond. <laughs> um, eternity, <laughs> you know? It's like they're always going to be there. There's always this bridge between souls here. Um, so the idea of separation is kind of an illusion. The idea of separation is in your head, in your third dimensional head. Um, because out there in the fifth dimension and every other dimension, you guys are connected. You guys are the same person, right? Um, this is a journey of self-love and that's why it is the ultimate, um, the ultimate journey, right? It's, uh, you can't get your twin flame with ego, and pride and all that shit. You, 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 you and your twin flame come together um, through loving oneself, right? Um, that self love journey is because they respond to the energy that you, or to the love and the energy that you are building up on the inside, not so much what you're projecting on the outside. Like, so if you're trying to project love at them, they're going to be like, what are you doing? <laughs> you know? Um, if you try to get them with some sick moves or whatever, they'll be like, what are you doing? <laughs> um, but if you come, like, fully authentic, fully yourself, then um, something crazy happens. Because then they see you loving yourself and really focused on the self, and then they respond to that love, you know? Um... Not all twin flames are meant to make union in this lifetime. Uh, that's another harsh reality. But like, not in the fifth, or not in the third dimension. Um, but, you're always in union. So, it really depends on where you're at in your journey. And if you're willing to listen to the messages. The signs from the universe, right? Because we've got this crop circles card. This is all about curiosity, signs, messages. Um, being divinely guided, right? If you listen to your divine guidance, that's fine. You'll get there. Um, yeah, so we've got this star seed. I love this. This is all about the self, memories, identity. This is really getting in touch with who you are as a person, right? Because when you understand yourself, then you can understand them. Um, I love the imagery here because you just see, like, he's off daydreaming over here. She's playing with her Rubik's Cube. And there's just all this love, right? The kundal, like, her kundalini. The, um, the chakras are all in alignment here, right? Um, the imagery here is showing me just peace and contentment, right? They're not, like, they're not being over the top with each other. They're probably not even talking, <laughs> you know? They're just... There's so much understanding between them. They probably don't even need that all the time. They're probably just happy to be in each other's company, you know? Um, Nephilim. Alright, so this is all about controversy, assessments, and new perspectives, right? Um, yeah, so it might feel like... Like there might be obstacles, right? Controversial obstacles. Um who your twin flame is, 
in general could be a thing, you know, it's like, um, I don't know, you might be asking yourself why them, <laughs> you know, I, I think we all ask ourselves that at some point, and, um, that's why, because you trigger that inside of you, um, because they force you to step into your personal power and your personal strength to decide for yourself, um, if you want what is meant for you, or are we just gonna, you know, not, I don't know, we'll find out, so, um, these messages from the universe, what have you been told, we're gonna clarify this crop circles card, um, Okay, Ace of Discs, um, starting a new path, right, um, Five of Discs in reverse, this is, um, don't worry, <laughs> don't worry about a thing, cause every little thing is gonna be alright, alright, so that's your song today, don't worry, be happy, <laughs> Everything's going to be alright. That's what I'm seeing here with this uh, Five of Discs in reverse and this Ace of Discs. Aces are always the beginning of a new cycle, right? Um, so, yeah. Um, we have the Princess of Swords in reverse, but then we have the Queen of Swords, right? So, I feel like the Divine Feminine here is really um, cutting down obstacles for herself. Um, or his self, if you, if, I mean, sometimes there are male divine feminines, you know, um, one of my favorite, uh, YouTubers, actually, the New World, uh, New World All-Star, whatever, he talks about, he's a twin flame coach, um, he's, he's really fucking hilarious, uh, but, you know, he often, like, um, where was I going with that? Where was I going? It just slipped my brain. Just like that. That's why, um, that's probably why I probably shouldn't smoke a lot of weed. But, yeah, so, no, um, basically there's a lot of things that we have to cut out, right? And I also see the evolution of the self here, um, with this Princess of Swords in reverse. What was I saying? Oh my god. I need to stop smoking weed before I do these. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just poof. Out the window. <laughs> um, yeah. So I guess I wasn't supposed to talk about all that. Um, but uh, yeah. So Princess of Swords in reverse. Queen of Swords. Um, this is somebody who went from being the Princess of Swords to straight up being the Queen of Swords. Right? It's Divine Feminine. Oh yeah. That's what I was saying. Um, the New World All-Star guy. He, he himself... As a masculine male, he is the divine feminine. He is the, um, the first chaser, you know, uh, in, in his connection. Uh, he is the one who is the emotive one, you know. There's, uh, there's always, you know, there's the one that's really emotive, and then there's the other that's like, I'm gonna just keep all this shit bottled up. Good luck finding it, <laughs> you know, and it's like... Yeah, so, I mean, there's definitely guys who could be sitting in this. This is somebody who is, um, not taking no bullshit, you know? She's got, she's sitting here, here, let me see if you can see it, okay. Titties out. <laughs> Sword in one hand, uh, a man's head in another, and she's just chilling on this cloud, right? She's like, this is where I'm at, this is my throat. Um, so, yeah, I feel like this is somebody who is cutting out any energy that, um... That is trying to pose an obstacle for her. Um, and good. <laughs> Do that. <laughs> That's very good. Uh, I feel like, you know, once you know, once you know who your, your person is, 
you know, you can try to move forward with other people, as many have. Many twin flames do that. They're like, I need to get this person off of my mind. I need to distract myself. Any fucking other thing. Um, but then that there's that bridge in your soul <laughs> and you're like you, you know when they're feeling things and shit and and then so you get to a point where you're just like I literally cannot be with anybody else um and so I'd rather be alone you know kind of energy um because you just can't you know who they are you know it's like if you know who your person is like you know everybody else is just Kind of a test or a karmic a karmic cycle that and you don't want to open up new karmic cycles when you're so far ahead in your journey so i feel like this is somebody it's really cutting out that um in the minor arcana i would definitely say this is this is aquarius energy <laughs> this queen of swords here um it's somebody who is just like I'm not playing games, <laughs> you know, like, and, and she won't, or he won't, they won't, um, <clears throat> oh yeah, I guess I should, um, talk to my cards a little bit, so we're gonna clarify this starseed card, um, the self, the memories, the identity, this is um, realizing your identity within this connection, too. This is, like, really um, accepting it. Like, who you are, who they are, that they are yourself, and that you are their self. Um, this could have a lot to do with nostalgia, too. Like, thinking back on them and, and things that you guys have connected on or whatever, you know. Um, that's pretty common. Uh, so, the star seed. Let's clarify that. Okay. So, six of wands in reverse. Okay, so this is um, victory in reverse. I would definitely say... Um, Currently, where you're at in your journey, um, you might not feel victorious. You might not feel like you've gotten to the point where you want to be um, within your connection. Um, and I would, I kind of like challenge you a little bit in this um, because I feel like that's an ego thing telling you that you need victory in this, that there is something to be. Um, obtained um because honestly you need to realize that this is not just somebody that you just get you know this is this is the real one right and it's not about the vic victory and losses it's not about winning and losing and it's not about the head games right it's just not it's about self-love Right, and so if you're not giving yourself love, you're not gonna feel that. Um, I don't, I don't particularly like the i the idea of feeling like you're winning or losing in this journey because there's really not that. There's there's no losing. Worst case scenario, even if you never um, get that third dimensional like connection, um, even if you've still gotten a lot, you know, to be grateful for in life. There's so fucking much. Um, and if you hyper-focus so much on this and, like, one outcome and, you know, a certain thing, um, you'll never feel satisfied. Um, so, yeah. And we've got the lovers. So, it looks like, with this lover's card... This is major arcana love. This is, this is deep. You know, this is eons and eons of, like, you see, I love the imagery here, because you see her inner child within this 
person and their inner child within that person. And you see how they, they grow into each other. You know, it's like this very beautiful two souls, one body, or two bodies, one soul kind of energy. Um, this card does reflect that union is inevitable, you know, it's like that energy that it's, it's going to come together. Oh, my son just woke up. <laughs> um, what up, stinker? Alright, he's gonna go sleep on the floor, I guess. <laughs> he, like, woke up and just fell. <laughs> he's like, I I'm just gonna lay right here. <laughs> um, yeah, so, um, yeah, so I do see union here, right? I see a uh, coming together. But I also want you to get it out of your head that that would be a victory or a loss, okay? Um, I want you to get it out of your head that this is a game to be won. Um, first and foremost, because they're not a game. They are the um, most significant partner you could ever have in life. Um, they're not a game. Uh, so wash that shit out. Wash it out. And then let's um clarify this Nephilim. The controversy. The assessing. The new perspectives. What's going on there? Um, So, where, okay, since it's the holiday season, I've been getting this a lot. Somebody's bad with money, okay? <laughs> uh, literally every reading, though, and I noticed, like, it, it happened around the time that the holidays started hitting. So, I don't even want you to take that too seriously, um, because the universe is just calling us all out for overspending right now. Um, don't fret, mon, mon frere. Um, then we have the Ten of Cups. This is fucking magic, right? This is being completely satisfied. This is like, there's so much love. This universal love. This, this, uh, I feel like just this sense of togetherness, you know? Um, and ten always represents, like, ending a cycle, beginning a new cycle, right? Um... So then we have art in reverse, so somebody might be slacking off in their natural talents, right? Um, that's... We all do that. <laughs> we all go through our bouts where we're like, we're going to heavily focus on it, and then we're going to not focus on it. And I say, if you have natural talents, um, you really should dive into that. You really should, I mean, obviously you have natural talents, but you should really dive into that. And you should really... Um, hyper-focus on that a little bit instead of this connection because though this connection is the most important <laughs> of you know of any kind of union you could ever have don't hyper-focus on it you know uh, just get on with your bad self focus on your art focus on your shit you know um yeah so then um we have this Seven of Swords, right? So, um... Hmm... What I gather from this card is, um... Somebody is really going back and forth in their heads. Um... About the propriety. Like, should I be with this person? Will, um... Will they be accepted? I feel like this is somebody who cares a little too much about what other people think. Um, and they hyper-focus on that. And it's kind of ego-based. It's like, oh no, what's my mom going to think? What's my best friend going to think? What's they, what are they going to think? Well, are they the ones that you're banging? You know? <laughs> like, are they, do their opinions really matter that much? Um, 
I don't know. That's something I think you're going to have to really uh, work out on your own. Because I feel like once you get to a certain level um, in your journey, you kind of, you're past that. You're past caring about what other people think. You're past, you know, because you get to a point where you're like, I'd rather just live my truth as honestly and openly as I can. And um, whoever disagrees with it, well, there's the fucking door, you know? It's like, uh, sometimes we have to make decisions for ourselves that other people aren't necessarily going to agree with, and that's absolutely fine. Um, if you're so stuck on their opinions, if you really care so damn much about what they think, then, you know, maybe you shouldn't be in union. Maybe you should take a time out um, and focus on some of that shadow work. Because, um... Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm going to be real with you. That's just, it's childish. You know, it's childish at the end of the day. Um, who fucking cares? Most of these opinions that you're so worried about come from people who don't even like themselves. You know, um, and so if they don't even like themselves, how are they going to have an opinion that really fucking matters? You know, I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, it is what it is. Let's dive deeper. Um, I can tell you what, this Queen of Swords ain't taking no bullshit, right? She ain't taking bullshit with her. And Divine Masculine, if you're watching by any chance, um, she ain't taking your bullshit either. You know, you have to come 100% authentic and real and just kind of accept it is what it is. Because I see her in this state of acceptance at this time. And I would definitely say that this um, lack of acceptance or this fear and doubt and worry is coming from a masculine perspective here. Because um, she ain't worried. She's got this five of discs over here in reverse. She is not worried. Um, she's embarking. Um, so yeah, it is what it is. At the end of the day... Who are you taking to the grave with? Or who are you taking with you to the grave, you know? Because your twin flame is going to follow you lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. They'll, you, they're going to be with you in lifetime after lifetime. Whether they're with you in the physical sense or if they're just in your fucking energy field. They're there. Um, you're not taking your friends and family with you in the same way. Um, it's a completely different way. <laughs> um, so yeah, like, I would think that their opinion might be more, more valid, but I, what do I know? <laughs> what do I know, you know? Um, clearly I'm not in the physical union with my twin flame, so I can't escape that motherfucker. He's so constantly in my head, overthinking every damn day. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I feel you. Uh, it's a whole damn thing. Um, he's like my Siamese twin. Sometimes I'm like, can I even go to the bathroom without this person knowing? <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> Probably not. Um, so, yeah, we've got the, the death card in reverse. This is the rebirth. Somebody is rebirthing themselves. Um... And then we've got the fool in reverse. They're not being impulsive. They're not just rushing out and doing dumb shit, you know. They're not just hanging off the edge of the cliff anymore. They're like, no, I'm rebirthing. I'm assessing my life. I'm going to not be impulsive. <laughs> I'm going to do what is right for me. Um, Ten of wands in reverse. So this feels like in the past or recent past, um, they walked away from something, right? Hence the rebirth, hence the not acting impulsively. Um, because they just, they've been through some shit, right? They had to pack up all of their shit and go, right? And they're just like, I'm done. Um, so then we've got 10-10, you know, we've got 10 of cups over here, 10 of wands, um, death, rebirth, death, rebirth, death, rebirth, you know? Um, so, yeah. Uh, I definitely feel like this is somebody who walked away from karmic patterns and is just not dealing with them anymore. 
they are like, I paid my debts. <laughs> I'm good. I, I'm moving forward with my life. Things are going to be great for me. Um, because I chose that. So, yes. Let's see. Let's dive a little deeper. Um... All right, what is the overall outcome for, for our twin flames on their current path? Um, but that's what we're really here for, right? We know that there's always going to be like this back and forth, back and forth, whatever. Like, and really what you want to know is what's going to happen. Um, but once you get to the point where you don't want to know, that's when it's the best, honestly. <laughs> You're just like, you know what? It's okay. Um, <laughs> okay. So... Right here with the Six of Pentacles, I see that there's a balance here. And look at the infinity symbol behind, you know, this this balance of give and take. Um, this is like, I just feel like, in within the connection, whatever happens with your connection. I'm going to put this right on top of the Lover's card, because this did come up, you know, this... And these two really flow together. That there's this balance here. That there's this this energy here. Like there's just comfort. There's this sense of real partnership. Like somebody, people who genuinely are just like there for each other. You know, um, judgment in reverse. This could mean like one that you guys don't judge each other, which is fantastic you shouldn't um also um this could mean that decisions have already been made um in regards to your situation um it could mean that you know you guys have already come to a level of acceptance and just kind of going with the flow um i don't know i really like that um all right, so let's get some last minute advice for our divine collective. Oh, bottom of the deck, the sun card. All right, that's the Leo card in the um, astrology deck, or in astrology deck, in the zodiac. Oh my god, the tarot. <laughs> I, I'm waking up, guys. Okay, um, I know words. Anytime I think about a Leo, I can't fucking talk straight. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Leo. <laughs> you're you're next on my reading, okay? Um, but yeah, uh, the sun card, I'm going to pull it because it did pop out at me. Um, this is prosperity and happiness and abundance. This card is so great because you can't read it in reverse. It just only has one meaning, and that is ultimate happiness. The ultimate, like, everything. Everything coming together, feeling uplifted by the universe, you know? Um, and honestly, like, with every Leo I know, my son included, I feel like that's true. You know, you can't be around a Leo without feeling fucking fantastic. <laughs> you know, they're just, they're so great. <laughs> um, so, you know, um, whether or not you're a Leo, you're dealing with a Leo, or you're just simply embracing this prosperity and happiness, I feel like, um... Feel like everything's gonna be fine for you you know and that's really all that matters um because you're gonna find that light within and that's what's going to guide you in your life that's what's gonna bring you the ultimate happiness um so last minute advice before i let you go so i could read those leos they're already trying to pop up um, oh my god, okay, 
So that was like half the deck. Let's take some of this shit back and try that again. <laughs> like a couple cards, okay? <laughs> um, yeah, I do talk to my tarot decks. I actually talk to everything. I talk to animals. I talk to inanimate objects. I talk to everything. Um, I thought I was crazy for a while, and then I, I read a thing, a study saying that, like, um, highly intelligent people just talk to themselves and shit, and I'm like, you know what, that's true. <laughs> I'm very smart. <laughs> I'm smart, okay? Um, yeah, so, like, I don't know. I, uh, I don't feel shame in it anymore, where I used to be like, oh no, don't talk to yourself. They might think you're crazy, <laughs> you know, and I'm like, ah, fuck it. Let them think it. <laughs> I, uh, I'm just that person, you know. Alright, so for the last minute advice, I'm not going to keep going through this because I got a couple cards. Um, Nine of Pentacles, focus on your hustle, focus on, um... Your personal abundance, right? Three of Cups in reverse. Um, kind of like what we were talking about before. This The advice here is saying not to really listen to your friends and your bullshit. Uh, you know, because, I mean, how are they any, um, any uh, experts? in knowing what the fuck you're going through you know like most of your friends probably have no idea what this journey is even about or what it would be like so yeah um focus on your hustle don't focus on the opinions of others um ace of wands yes okay ace of wands this is saying um listen to divine guidance rather than your friend guidance you know Listen to God, or the source, or all the gods, whatever you believe in, you know, the universe. Listen to that, your third eye. Um, and we've got the wheel. Things are going to change pretty fast for you. Um, I, so, you know, you're no longer going to be wasting love with this five of cups in reverse. You're not going to waste love on people who are just dumping it out and throwing it down the drain, you know? Um, you are investing in kind of that more permanent shit, or if you're investing at all, right? Um, Queen of Pentacles in reverse, like I said, everyone's kind of getting this. Um, it's just saying, like, every, you're struggling to hold on to money. Well, that makes sense, because of the holidays, so, you know, whatever. Um... The High Priestess, focus on that intuition, that third eye shit. That's the advice you need to be listening to, not this, you know, not the homies. <laughs> they're not God. Well, I mean, they're aspects of God, but they don't have the um, divinity or the divine guidance for you that... Uh, you're really seeking or that you need you need something a little bit more um less human <laughs> less human in your guidance you need something i mean why listen to mortals when you yourself don't really perceive yourself as that you're like twin flames are earth angels you know that's why not everybody gets one um, the journey here is to teach the world how to love themselves, um, first and foremost. Um, so how could they help you if they don't even know, you know, they're not even as far on their journey as you are, you know? They're learning from you, they not the other way around. Um, so yeah. I don't know. That's pretty much what I have for you today. I'm really surprised. Usually my videos cut off at like 26 minutes, but this is like, no, we're going. We're going to keep this message flowing. So, um, <laughs> yes, uh, I feel like you are going to be fine. You just focus on that hustle, focus on that self-love, focus on your damn self. That's, that's where it all, it's all at, you know? And then... 
everything else just kind of falls into place, you know? Here, let me put it where you can see it. Everything else just kind of falls into place. Um, don't spread small prayer. You will be fine. <laughs> anyway, namaste. I love you all. And, uh, Leos, if, uh, you're watching this, you're next! So, yes, I, uh, I will see you later. Uh, bye.